Wow, hi everyone, my name's Nathaniel from Darkerland, and I just got off the hype train. Welcome to Bloodborne Blind, the playthrough where we play through Bloodborne completely blind from start to finish. I got the game here, I can't wait another second, I want to keep this intro short just to introduce myself, but we're going to get to know each other a lot as we fight our way through Yarnum together. I really want this to be a group effort, guys, and I hope you'll join me. And just a quick shout out to the Souls community in general. You guys have influenced me enough to make this playthrough, so thank you. And thank you to everyone watching now. Let's just get started. So come with me and let's see what horror and secrets are lying in wait in Yarnum. Let's do it together, guys. Okay, so here we are. Um, Bloodborne, guys. Holy shit, I can't believe it. Uh, we're gonna play online, see if the servers are, you know, working. Right now, I... Okay, information. Welcome to online mode. Online... Da da da... Do the server... Will undergo regular maintenance on the... Okay... Every Wednesday. Hmm. Okay, well, you know, it's not Wednesday yet. Uh, system... Controls environment... God, I don't know, guys. What does this mean? Who? I'm nervous. I, uh, let's just... Oh my god. Okay, let's just do it, guys. Here we go. Adjust slider until the man is visible and beast invisible. It's about right here for... For me. So... Um, I don't know, guys. I'm I'm so excited and nervous. Let's just go. Oh yeah, pale blood. <laughs> well, you've come to the right place. Yarnum is the home of blood ministration. You need only unravel its mystery. But where's an outsider like yourself to begin? Easy, with a bit of yarn and blood of your own. But first, you'll need a contract. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, I'm actually taking notes here, which is something I've never done before. Um, in a Souls game. Uh, so he, we are a pale blood. What else do you say? Yarnum is the home of blood ministration and that we need a contract. So I'm assuming that's what this is right here. We're creating a contract. Enter name. So I actually have a name in mind. Let's see here. This is actually the name of a, uh, a character that I had created a long time ago that actually existed sort of in the same era. So I thought it would be appropriate. Let's see here. Gender, male, age. I think a young guy. Why not? Origin. Okay. Milk toast. Ordinary happy upbringing. All attributes average. So we got... Level, blood echoes, vitality, endurance, strength, skill, blood tinge, and arcane. Um, okay. Lone survivor. Lone survivor of, a lo of lost Hamlet. L high life ens essence and vigor. Okay. So, where are the differences happening here? So, vitality, lone survivor has high vitality 
Endurance strength. Uh, he's got lower blood tinge and arcane. So troubled childhood, suffered misfortune in youth, highly resilient as a result. So a lot of endurance, a lot of skill. Violent past, terrible violent past, rash but stronger for it. Um. Hmm. Okay, so this is maybe a strength sort of focus build here. A lot of vitality, a lot of strength and endurance, but the blood echoes are low. So I, blood echoes are, I guess it's, uh, I I'm pretty sure blood echoes are supposed to be the currency, but 180 is that how much you start with? I so that I'm not quite sure about right now. Professional, born specialist, fit for sleuthing or academia. So high skill, pretty high endurance. God, I, I you know, I, I don't know what a lot of these, some of these mean. The blood echoes, I'm unsure of. So we're probably, it's probably going to come down to us just picking. Military veteran, experienced in war, a soldier with strength and skill. Um, he's kind of military veteran is pretty good across the board. Noble scion, scion to respectable line with faith in your pedigree. Lots of skill and blood tinge. Again, I have no idea what blood tinge is. I could make a guess, but why? I'll, I'll learn at some point. Cruel fate, face terrible hardships, but now confident in your purpose. So. Quite high in arcane. Again, unsure what arcane means. The blood echoes are high. Waste of skin. You are nothing. Talentless. You shouldn't have been born. Okay. Level four. I assume that this is, you know, I know people were talking about this might be the, uh, the new deprived, but. Oh, wow. Okay. I have no idea. You know, not that it's really going to matter that much, maybe, but I'm thinking either, either Noble Scion. Um, you know what? Who cares? I I'm going Noble Scion. We'll see. We'll see what that means. Appearance. Gender. Age. Oh, we already did that. Voice. Hmm. See, this is... Oh, sample. Oh, okay. <laughs> so... So, okay. So the voice is just um, noises you make when you get hurt or die, presumably. So... We'll just go with young. I think that's okay. Standard, slim, very slim, burly. Very burly. Uh, big head. I think we're going to go with very slim. Scale adjustment. Head. Oh, jeez. Oh, this is so many options. I'm getting bogged down here with the details. Small, wait, small head? Okay. Quite a small head. Chest. Oh, man. Oh, too many options here. But I love it. I love that there's so many options, but I'm feeling very overwhelmed. I can't see with the clothes on, really, so... Uh, you know what, guys? Uh... I'm trying to trying to save you some time here. My screen is a little bright. I don't know how this is coming through for you guys, but I'm going to probably adjust the brightness. Look pretty good here. Skin is very pale. Base skin color. Very pale. I feel like if I'm from a very wealthy family, I'm bound to be somewhat pale. It just makes seems like it makes sense. I'm not quite sure what logic I'm approaching that with, but 
I'm probably bound to just go with something like this. I, I don't know. You know, I think this is probably okay. Oh man, okay, sorry, we're not, I can't do this to you guys too much longer. Ooh, don't care for that. Well, I... not quite sure what to give this commentary I'm just again I'm very sorry that I'm gonna be taking a while with this maybe I'll skip through a little bit of this I, you know I'm not sure if you what you guys really want to see if you guys really want to see all this I know I probably would if I didn't have the game or... I tend oh wideness okay I think that's okay there's the forehead ratio. I'm not seeing much of a change there. Oh my. Oh my. I don't want my guy to... I, I like that you can get like a, you know, a lanky kind of guy out of this. That, you know, he's not necessarily... Doesn't look like a badass, but, you know, he's going to be a badass. I mean, you guys can always skip through this, I guess, you know, if you don't want to see it. I'm not really seeing the difference here. Maybe it's just so subtle, I just can't really see. I don't... It's tough. I'm ready for the hair, though. Make some sweet hair. Oh, man. I really want to spend forever on this, but I also don't. Okay, let's just mess with... Lips. My guy's a little sad. Well, not that sad. That's fine. Lip fullness. Maybe it's just the hair. I, I, I don't like this hair. Mouth, but uh, okay, 
Chances are I'm just going to be wearing something that's going to cover up my face anyways. Chin. Wait. I kind of like longer chins. Matches me a bit. His nose. God. I, whatever. I don't really care. I mean, I do, but... Skin color makeup. Lipstick. I don't think he needs lipstick right now. Here we go. Well, there's not. Oh man. Nice. I you know, I'm probably going to pick that. I'm being honest. That's nice, but I like that too. <laughs> I honestly like this, but Oh, they give you Oh, you can have the girl's hair. You can be one of the girls. All right, who am I kidding? I'm Definitely going to pick that. Why am I even kidding myself? Why can't they just give you a select? I mean, this is pretty customizable. I don't know. I like white. Kind of grayish. I don't know how to get that with this. Oh. Getting close. a little blue but I think I'll live what am I oh well I can't really see with the hair oh man I can't Jeez, oh, this is crazy. Okay. <laughs> Alright, well. I don't know if facial hair fits my character, although I like it. I like. Oh my god. That's cool. That's cool too, but I like this. How do I get the same beard color? Let's see, I think the beard is more gray now than the hair. 89, 79, 66. Okay, I didn't see that. Oh, what? Oh, no. Oh, no. What was it? 88, 79, 66? God, this is crazy. This is taken. Oh, wait. Oh, man. I'm so stupid. Okay, 88, 66, 60. Eighty-eight, sixty-six. God, what was it, 60? Alright, that's a little better. I'm just going to accept that and choose to move on. Tattoo? 
Can't see any of that on my guy. Doesn't matter. Glasses. Oh. Ooh. Oh my god. Okay. What? Oh, this is like goggles. I kind of like this. These. How can I not choose glasses? I think I have to. All right, uh, color of glasses, I think we're okay. Nice. Marion. Load favorite, save to favorites. I'll save. Cool, we just gotta get him, uh, we gotta go full, um, God, what do you call it? Fashion born? That's probably right. Okay, sorry guys, here we go. Finalized contract. We've made the contract, and it only took 20 fucking minutes. Good. All signed and sealed. Now, let's begin the transfusion. Oh, don't you worry. Whatever happens, you may think it all a mere bad dream. You found yourself a hunter. Wow. Okay. Um So that was pretty interesting. Okay, so that man who maybe Ayasofka Ayas or However you may pronounce that. Okay, so he said we had a transfusion after a contract was signed. Um, it, whatever happens, we may think this just a bad dream. Oh, wow. Okay, hold on. Let me get this thought out. So then a beast came out of the blood, but it was stopped. And, the, and caught on fire and retreated back into the blood and then the messengers came got us and someone a woman said said you found yourself a hunter did you it just 
sort of looks like that's... Sorry, I'm just playing with the controls here. Okay, let's read this. Inspect. Handwritten scrawl. Seek pale blood to transcend the hunt. So, I am taking notes. Like I said, let me write this down. I don't know if we'll get it. Seek... Pale blood to transcend the hunt. Seek pale blood to transcend the hunt. Okay. Pale blood. So I thought we were the pale blood. Now, was this something that he wrote and he knew that he needed to seek a pale blood, which would be me? Let's, okay. Let's take a look at our inventory here. Black Hood. Hood worn upon awakening to the nightmare of blood and beasts. Perhaps its wearer had to stay out of sight and travel by cover of darkness. Without memory, who will ever know? Okay. Le oh, oh, wow. Okay. Physical defense 20, 30, da, da, da. Slow poison resistance, rapid poison resistance, frenzy resistance, beasthood. Okay. Um, Carol rune effect. Okay, sorry. I'm really trying to get a hold on this. Okay, foreign garb. Let's see. Clothing worn, da, 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 da. not typical clothing for Yarna. Perhaps it is of foreign origin and is said, after all, the. Oh, God, I lost my place. It is said, after all, the traveler came to Yarnum from afar. Without memory, who will ever know? A faint memory recalls blood ministration involving the transfusion of unknown blood. Not long after, the nightmare began. Okay, so. Blood ministration, I think that's what we just went through. Because Yarnum is the home of blood ministration. Involving the transfusion of unknown blood. Not long ago, da, da, da. Okay. Alright. So that's all we have. Oh. Okay, wait. Personal effects. Oh. Found our gestures. How do I do that? Okay. We will do this. We'll mess with that later. I want to... Hunter's Mark. Sa okay. Sacrifice all blood echoes and awaken anew. So I put that in my personal effects. Oh god. What was that? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Whatever it is. Okay, guys. I'm... I really need to figure this out. Okay, wait. Let me put that hood back on. How do I do that? Okay. So, I have two doors we can go through. Does not open. That is good to know. View notes. Wondrous woman. Find note. So. Attack. Lock on. A lot of deaths in this room. I wonder what's going to happen to us.
I doubt it's possible to defeat this. Whoa! Four damage, wow, okay. We're just gonna die. You died. I sure did. Okay, this is all a lot to take in right now. I doubt I'm going to be able to make sense of any of these notes right now. What a beauty this place is. Holy shit. Wow. Okay. Dream ref Hunter's Refuge. How, wait, how do I... Yarnum Headstone. Awakening Headstone. No place to awaken. Okay. Let's explore this place first. I'm going to start from the bottom. Or as far down here. Oh, wait. Sh oh, okay. Hold on. Maybe we should read these. After taking damage from an enemy, there is a period of time which... Okay, the regain system I am aware of. R1 when next to staggered enemy visceral attack. Shooting your firearm will interrupt and stagger an enemy when properly timed to attack. No parrying. Hitting an enemy from behind will... Okay. Strong attack. You know, it's transform weapon. is L1. I... Closed. Emergency... Okay, uh, this is what I did earlier that I didn't want to do. Emergency Quicksilver Bullet Replenishment. Used with caution, performing this action drains HP. So that's up on the D-pad that does that. Switch weapons. God, this is... I hope a fraction of this, how beautiful this is, comes across in this video. Use item, toggle item. Gotcha. I believe this was just a... The notes held by messengers contain the written... Okay, that makes sense. Now this is just a shortcut up here, but we're not done exploring yet. Oh, let's take a look at this. An abandoned doll. An abandoned doll. Makeshift altar. A short ritual ritual root chalice is required to conduct a ritual. Makeshift altar, okay. A holy chalice is required to conduct a holy chalice, okay. Holy chalice. Holy chalice. Holy chalice. What did the other one say? Okay, these are all Holy Chalice. Hmm. I imagine there has to be some reason this oh this could just be a place for npcs to hang out possibly just seems very empty for the stump appears to appears linked to the nightmare but there are no messengers okay so stump messengers i believe this is all i can explore back here
The door is closed. Oh. Closed. The bath appears to be linked to the nightmare, but there are no messengers. Trade. Excuse me. Trade blood echoes with messengers to buy and sell items. Purchase items. Blood vial. 180 blood echoes. Quick silver bullets. Da -da. Okay, let's read the blood vial. A special blood. Special blood used in ministration restores HP. Once a patient has had their blood ministered, a unique but common treatment in Yardam, so that's what we went through. Successive infusions recall the first and are all the more invigorating for it. No surprise that most Yarnamites are heavy users of blood. So, successive infusions recall the first and they're more invigorating. Okay. Quicksilver bullets, special bullets used with hunter firearms. Ordinary bullets have no effect on beasts, and so quicksilver bullets fused with the wielder's own blood must be employed. The strength of quicksilver bullets depends greatly upon the wielder's blood tinge. Okay, the strength of bull. Okay, so blood tinge, I have 14. The strength of the bullets depends on my blood tinge. Okay. So I picked someone who has a higher blood tinge for the starting character, so that means my bolts will be more effective, I believe. Molotov cocktail explodes in raging flames when thrown against an object, one of the oldest hunter tools available in the workshop. Since the tragedy that struck old Yarnum, fire has become a staple in beast hunts and is thought to cleanse impurity. Certain types of beasts have an abnormal fear of fire. Pebble can be thrown at foes. Quite thrilling. Nice. That's awesome. Wait a minute. There's more here. Okay. Materials. Oh. Yarnum. Okay. Okay. Yarnum hunter cap, garb, gloves, trousers. Ludwig. Ludwig. The first hunter of the healing church. Once recruited Yarnumites to serve as hunters. This hunter's attire was made for new recruits and has excellent straightforward defense, but not nearly enough to allow an ordinary man to stand any real chance against the beasts. So this is clearly better than what I have, but not enough for a normal hunter. Ludwig, the first hunter... Okay, this hunter's attire was made for new recruits, has excellent... Okay, so... These clearly belong to someone named Ludwig. So I'm writing Ludwig down. So there's someone named Ludwig wears this, I'm assuming, and is the first hunter of the healing church. <laughs> Okay. Now let's head up here. It's all. Accept gift from messengers. The the messengers offer you a trick weapon. Choose one. Trick weapons are weird on the right hand and employed in beast hunting. So we have the saw cleaver, hunter axe, threaded cane. Saw cleaver. One of the trick weapons of the workshop commonly used in the hunting business. This saw, effective at drawing the blood of beasts, transforms into a long cleaver that makes use of the scent. Oh, I am not going to get that right. I can say it, but I will not get it right here. Centrifugal force. The saw with its set of bloodletting teeth has become a symbol of the hunt and only grows in effectiveness the more grotesquely transformed the beast. Hmm. Hunter axe. Uh, retains the qualities of an axe, but offers a wider palette of attacks by transforming. Boasts a heavy blunt attack, leading to a high rally potential. No matter their past, beasts are no more than beasts. Some choose this axe to play the part of executioner. Threaded cane. Sufficiently, I'm leaning towards the threaded cane. Sufficiently deadly as a rigid bladed cane, but also serves as a whip when its blade is split into many. Concealing the weapon inside the cane and flogging the beast with the whip is partly an act of ceremony. 
and attempt to demonstrate to oneself that the bloodlust of the hunt will never encroach upon the soul. Okay. So, this is maybe a... Um... Threaded cane maybe has a, carries a little more respect in the, the hunt. I, I'm quite sure what that means, but let's see the stats. So 78 damage, 98, 90. Physical attack, 90 plus 4. 98 plus 4, 78 plus 7. The plus 7, I believe, is in the strong attack, which would be the whip, I'm guessing, for the cane. And the extended axe and the extended saw cleaver are the pluses. I, I know these give higher damage, but... Okay, wait. Attribute... Attribute requirements. Seven strength. Where are my... Okay. Wait. I have nine, so... You know, I think they make these so you can do either, but I... Gosh, I'm gonna choose the threaded cane. It just feels right. So why don't we arms, quick items. Let's look at the moveset of this cane. Okay, so that's just R1. Okay, we got a whip now. So again, that's just R1. Let's see the strong attack with the whip. Okay, um, and that's the strong attack, just with that, so, I'm really gonna have to get used to the, um, the transformations that this makes, so. It transitions very smoothly. Firearm. Hunter pistol, hunter blunderbuss, I'm leaning towards the pistol. But let's see, 70 plus five blood attack, 20 plus one blood attack. So I'm assuming the pistol has more accuracy. The blunderbuss is a wider range. So Pist hunter pistol, pistol made at the workshop for hunters stalking beasts. Hunter firearms are specially crafted to employ quicksilver bullets fused with the wielder's own blood, boosting damage against beasts. The pistol is a quicker draw than the blunderbuss, allowing for speedier response to attacks. Okay, makes sense. Hunter firearms are specifically crafted to employ quicksilver bullets fused with the wielder's own blood, boasting damage against beasts. Did I just read that? Believe. Okay. The impact of this highly effective weapon counters be swift movements, and its widespread is nigh on guaranteed to hit the mark. Hunter pistol. Okay. Um. So two items to the right, on the right hand, two items on the left. I have bullets, but I don't want to use them. I don't want to shoot right now. Closed. So I believe I've searched everything. Broken headstone. Yarnum headstone. First floor sick room. Okay. Finally getting into it after 40 some minutes.
And we are back in Iosefka's clinic. Okay, so here's where we first came from. I can't imagine anything really has changed. But Are you Whoa. Out on the hunt. Then I'm very sorry, but I cannot open this door. I am Yosefka. The patients here in my clinic must not be exposed to infection. I know that you hunt for us, for our town, but I'm sorry. Please. This is all that I can do. Wow. Okay, Ayasefka is a female and not the man who gave us the transfusion. So we got from her Ayasefka's blood vial. Now, go. And good hunting. Are you still in need of something? But I have nothing more to offer. Please, try to understand my position. I can only pray for a fruitful hunt. Are you still in need? But I have... Please, I can only... Okay, let's take a look at... Isefka's blood vial. A blood vial acquired from Isefka's clinic. This refined blood, highly invigorating, restores larger amount of HP. Okay. Makes sense. The product of a slow and careful refinement process, this rare blood vial appears to be a clinic original. Did I read? I didn't read this. Okay. I apologize. Dangling. This is a hunter's mark. Dangling upside down rune etched in one's mind. Symbol of a hunter. By focusing one's thoughts on this rune, a hunter loses all blood echoes but awakens afresh. As if it were all just a bad dream. So I actually... Um... You know, I don't... Mm. Okay, wait a minute. Sorry. I'm very sorry. I'm trying to figure this out. Okay. Okay. So now we have that blood vial in our thing. Wondrous woman. Okay, that's what that was. Good thing I went back. So I can't get in there. Here's our lamp. Damn it. Search corpse. Bloodstone shard. And we got 235 blood echoes. So let's take a look. Bloodstone shard. A solid shard that forms in cold blood. After death, a substance in the blood hardens, and that which does not crystallize is called a bloodstone. At the workshop, these bloodstones are embedded in weapons to fortify them. Upgrading material, I assume. Search the place. Make sure there's no notes that I can read. It's a very interesting thing that they added. I have no idea if there's illusory, illus, illusory walls in this game in Bloodborne. 
Alright, this might be... Oh, there's an upper level. Don't believe there's anything I can do here that will get me to that. So, let's just head out. Okay, our first item on a corpse. Blood vials. Now those just add to... No! What did I... Oh! Gosh, 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 gosh. Okay. Damn it. So, triangle is the blood vials, and square is the item I have equipped. Okay. Well, we will find more. Why don't we read the description for that really quick? Or can we? I guess that's just something that's... I guess we can't. Time for hunting. Find out. Good lord. So it is daylight out. Seems like the sun is setting. by a device. I hear something awful. Okay. Central Yarnum. I see snowy mountains in the distance. Blood vials. I just can't believe I'm playing this right now, honestly. I have been waiting a long, long time. So I only regained just a little of my health back from that regain mechanic. So not a lot. Now, I am somewhat familiar with this area. to read the notes. Um, what I was gonna say was... 
Molotov cocktail. Nice. I am somewhat familiar with this starting area just because I did watch the alphas. So I'm familiar with it from that. Only. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, shit. Okay. So... Six Molotov cocktails. Nice. There's just top hats everywhere. Reeks of inquisitiveness. The lamp now transports you back to the hunter's dream. Upon death, you will awaken at this lamp. Oh. a hunter and not one from around here either i'm gilbert a fellow outsider you must have had a fine time of it yarnum has a special way of treating guests well i don't think i could stand if i wanted to but i'm willing to help if there's anything that can be done <laughs> this town is cursed Whatever your reasons might be, you should plan a swift exit. Whatever can be gained from this place, it will do more harm than good. Thanks, Gilbert. So we've just met Gilbert. Pale blood, you say? Hmm. Never heard of it. But if it's blood you're interested in, you should try the Healing Church. The Church controls all knowledge on blood ministration and all varieties of blood. Across the valley to the east of Yarnum lies the town of the Healing Church, known as the Cathedral Ward. And deep within Cathedral Ward is the old Grand Cathedral, the birthplace of the Healing Church's special blood. Or so they say. <laughs> Yarnumites don't share much with outsiders. Normally, they wouldn't let you near the place, but the hunt is on tonight. This might be your chance. Okay. So, Gilbert let us know more about the Healing Church and that it's to... I think he said the East? Wow, okay. That was a lot to take in. So, the Healing Church is definitely a place we need to take out. We also learned that... Um, What's his name? Uh, Budwig is associated with the Healing Church. Across the valley to the east of Yarnum, okay. you'll find the Cathedral Ward. Deep within lies the old main cathedral said to be the source of blood. I haven't heard of pale blood, but... That's your best bet if it's anything to do with unique types of blood. <coughs> Across the deep path, that's your best. I doubt I can make this. Oh. Pebbles. Let me go ahead and add that. My 
Bullets definitely do a lot of damage. It seems that there are lots of characters, or maybe lots of characters, that are behind doorways that you must speak to because they are hiding, I presume. Okay, so we could drop down there. Let's go this way first. Thanks to hunting. Let's take advantage of our pebbles. Well, maybe we don't need to mess with them yet. So this is where we, oh, okay, there's a big guy over there. This is where we first got started. I believe it would be an awful idea to try and kill this guy. Not good. I don't know how to backstab. Damn it. Okay. There we go. Oh my god. Nice. Three blood vials. That's about as many as I... Okay, this guy... Big axe. Alright, there should be some good loot down here. gotta be loot. There's gotta be something. I think this is the big guy I heard. Okay, I've not been down there. I feel like I have a healthy number of souls now. I kind of want to go back and see if I can buy something. So why don't we just do that really quick? 
and we're running a little long now. I Unfortunately, I have to keep these down to about an hour. I just can't. My computer can't really handle anything else. Still a doll. Oh! We have an open door. It looks like all the doors have opened. Storage. Oh, okay. Wow. Talk to him in just a minute. Workshop. Fortify weapon. I need three bloodstone shards to upgrade. I don't think we need to do that just yet. Oops. Okay. So. This is our workshop. Memory altar. The workshop tool required for this task is missing. To escape this dreadful hunter's dream, halt the source of the spreading scourge of beasts, lest the night carry on forever. Hmm. This will be your home for now. I am German, friend to you hunters. You're sure to be in a fine haze about now, but don't think too hard about all of this. Just go out and kill a few beasts. It's for your own good. You know, it's just what hunters do. You'll get used to it. This was once a safe haven for hunters. A workshop where hunters used blood to enhance their weapons and flesh. We don't have as many tools as we once did, but you're welcome to use whatever you find. This was once as the workshop you even. Okay. Just confirming my suspicion that the doll plays an important role. This was the Okay, so this is Gearman and he is a friend of the hunters, and this is our little hut that we can fortify weapons and such, store things. Okay, I think we're going to have to cut it for this episode now. So, yeah, I'm going to try and upload a, uh, I'm not going to space these out too much at all. So, so awesome. This has been incredible. I can't wait to continue. Let's see what we got here. Bye, guys. See you next time.